This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we're going to look at mobile accounts. Mobile accounts are typically associated with portable computers. And if you want the full details, you should look at the user management PDF from the server documentation in Chapter 8, Managing Portable Computers. Let's start with Workgroup Manager. I'm going to select a user, point and click. Boynton has already been set up as a network account. We see this that he has a network home folder. And now we're going to go to Manage Preferences. And under the Mobility tab, we see that there is a Create Mobile Account when User Logs In to Network Account setting. We need to manage this always and check mark that setting. We apply those changes and we're done with Workgroup Manager for now. To see the effect of this mobile account in action, we're going to go to the shared iMac via screen sharing. We have to log in as Boyton in the other icon. Note that Boyton is not listed as a user on the login screen yet. When we log in as Boyton, we're going to be offered the chance to create a mobile account now or delay this till some other date. If we delay, then Boyton will be operating as a network user rather than as a mobile user. We're going to go ahead and create now. Even though we're creating a mobile account on an iMac, it will work the same as if it was on a laptop. Once we're logged in, we see the default background, the default dock, and the default menu bar. Note that there's something new up here in the menu bar. We have this little house behind a house icon. This is where our synchronization and mobile account preference settings resides. Our home folder on our local hard drive is synchronized back to our home folder on the network server. We can manage these settings under the mobile account preferences, which are part of the account preferences pane. We can synchronize our files automatically. We can use a time synchronization, or we can set the synchronization to be manually kicked off when we desire. We can choose what information is synchronized, the entire home folder or only portions of it. And if we want, we can turn off or turn on the status in the menu bar. Note that the type of user is a managed mobile user. This is a different type of user than we've seen before. And it bears repeating that this user has a home folder both on the local hard drive and on the network server. When we log out as Boyton, we're going to see a change on the login window. Notice that Boyton is listed as a mobile user here. And if we hover over his name, the system will tell us what server his user account is located on.